Alright guys, finally I'm shooting a video reviewing one of the Hybrid Solution Turtle Wax products in their Hybrid Solutions line. This is their ceramic spray coating. So straight up, this is something that's applied to the paint after it's washed clean clay barred and in this video I'm going to go ahead and polish it too. But this coating could be related to something like the Adams spray coating or maybe even the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic behind me on my pegboard. Again, ceramic coating. It's applied just like a spray wax is applied. Basically, I'm gonna do a torture test. We are putting this to the test. We are going to apply two coats of this, let it dwell for about an hour and a half, even though there's technically no dwell time. We're just gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. And then I am going to attack it with Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted about five to one, Meguiar's wheel brightener diluted about five to one, and then we're gonna hit it with an iron remover from Renegade and look at the water behavior between all three of those tests to see how much this product can withstand chemicals and strong chemicals at that. So let's get into it. Okay, so step number one in this process is simply cleaning the top of the trunk here. So I'm just using Optimum No Rinse and a simple microfiber towel, cleaning all that surface dirt off, and then I'm taking my clay bar to it and making sure that it's ready to be polished. Now, before I do this, I'm using the Hybrid Ceramic Line Polish from Turtle Wax. It's their all-in-one, and I'm using uh, my Max Shine Polisher here. I believe it's their Mark II, um, and it actually does really well. It's very, very very, very low in vibrations, which is the main thing I've kind of noticed about it. And on top of that, I'm using a finishing pad from 3D Car Care. Now, after using the polish and getting it all ready to be applied, I actually did use a paint stripper to make sure that everything was stripped off because that polish does leave a certain coating. Now, as I'm applying this uh, ceramic coating, a couple things you need to know about it. It does say that you want to apply two coatings. So this was, of course, the first coating. And as you can probably see in the video, it's super easy to apply. There's nothing like... Um, particularly difficult about the application, the buffing on, the buffing off, um, the bottle itself sprays super simply, so all the boring stuff checks off. But then I'm doing a second coating as well, because it does say that if you want it to last somewhere around a year, 12 months, then you want to make sure that you put two different coatings on it. So for the sake of following the manufacturer's directions, I made sure that I did that. And this is what it looks like under my uh, garage overhead lights. You can see the paint looks fantastic and the gloss is fantastic as well. So this is what the initial water beading looks like on the car. So you can see even just from this uh, view that I'm giving you guys that it looks fantastic, right? The beading is great. It's responding pretty much like you would think it would, right? The water is collecting and running off and then anything left over is beading up and um, gravity is kind of taking its course. So nothing too revolutionary about the beading itself. However, it does look really, really good and obviously works really good. Now we're going to take Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner and this is diluted somewhere between 5 to 10 to 1, so probably about 8 to 1. And you guys see I'm being super liberal with it. I'm not holding back at all and even the cleaner itself is beading up a little bit and then I'm gonna kind of massage it into the paint I'm not trying to wipe off the coating necessarily but I am trying to kind of be uh, you know devil's advocate here I'm washing it off and uh, then I'm gonna take a drying towel and make sure I get all the residue off and this is what the water beading looks like after the Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner has been applied kind of massaged in and then wiped off so first reactions is it what I would call sheeting off a little bit slower, uh, yes. So like if you watch the water congregate and kind of pull into itself because of that uh, hydrogen bonding that I've talked about in a lot of videos and the surface tension that happens, it does happen a little bit slower, but not significantly enough for me to say, oh, it's not really performing well. It's still performing really well. Now comes the acidic wheel brightener. This is an acidic wheel cleaner, and I'm applying it just like I would the Meguiar's uh, all-purpose cleaner. This is diluted five to one. I'm gonna massage it into the paint, leave it there for just a second, wash it off with water, then wipe off the residue and the water with my drying towel. Now, one thing to keep in mind with these tests is that it's difficult to control for the variable of the fact that the trunk continues to get hit with three different chemicals. So even though this is what it looks like after the Meguiar's wheel brightener, 
understand that it was also hit with the APC before this. And so it might have been weakened a little bit with the APC before the wheel brightener was put on. And so maybe an even better test to do in the future is to have three different panels coated with the same coating, but treated with the three separate chemicals. That way you're not weakening the coating before you apply another cleaner on top of another cleaner on top of another cleaner. But all things considered, this is still performing really, really well, even after the acidic cleaner. Now I'm applying an iron remover. This is an iron remover from Renegade. It's a really powerful cleaner, and it's it, it works fantastically. You can see kind of I'm covering my nose in this. You really, I should be wearing a mask. But again, I'm going to massage it in, buff it in, spray it off with my pressure washer, and then dry it off and clean off that residue with my drying towel. Once again, keep in mind, this is the third time this coating has been hit with a cleaner, but I want you to see here, before I wipe it off with my drying towel, this is the initial water behavior with the iron remover residue still on the top of the trunk. I just wanted to make sure I noted this so you guys could see what that looked like to make it a little bit more detailed. Now I'm going to go ahead and dry it off, wipe off that residue, and hit it again with my pressure washer. You can see, number one, is it still beating up? Yes, it is. Is it beating up to a level that is significant? No. Okay, so can you tell that there's probably some sort of protection on it? Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. You can tell. But, once again, I can kind of see, okay, the iron remover definitely deeply affects this coating, but again, it is hard to isolate the variable of... Is it the iron remover alone that's causing this kind of behavior and kind of wiping the coating off of the uh, surface? Or is it the fact that we treated this with all-purpose cleaner, acidic wheel cleaner, and then added the iron remover? My gut would say that yes, all three of these coatings being applied to it and just punching it over and over probably, you know, obviously has something to do with it. But I will say the iron remover has so affected the coating at this point that it would be probably very safe to say that an iron remover on this coating is going to strip it away at a level that is significant enough to concern you and make you not want to put that kind of chemical on top of this coating. All right guys, so in conclusion, I will say this. This product definitely withstood more than I anticipated it withstanding. Now, I've not experimented with this product a ton, so this is probably about the fifth time that I've even used it, though I've applied it to full cars and all that sort of stuff. This is the first time I've applied chemicals to it. So, we can definitively say that Iron X or any iron remover is going to affect this product in a negative way. In other words, it's going to remove a significant layer of this product. So when it comes to traditional ceramic coatings that I've used, I've actually put out videos about this. Traditional ceramics from like Carbride or Nastyol or G-Technic, you can put an Iron X even on these products after all these other chemicals and I see little to no difference, meaning they withstand at a very high level. This again is a more retail grade product. It's not for necessarily the professional, nor would I necessarily suggest it to the professional. It's going to be grabbed off the shelf by the guy who's at home just trying to, you know, weekend warrior garage detail his car. And so for that application, I completely understand why you would buy this product but I'd also like to say that just because a product like this can't withstand something like an iron remover it certainly doesn't make it a bad product if anything I'm impressed that it can withstand the acidic wheel cleaner and the alkaline all-purpose cleaner with really no difference from the beginning water test to uh, after those two products but again the iron remover is going to affect most products and because this isn't a traditional ceramic you know you can expect it to be affected by that but I am going to be testing its durability because it does say that it lasts about 12 months if you do two applications so we will probably do a test where we actually put this on a car that I can maintain and track it month by month and really see how long it lasts but if you guys want to get your hands on the ceramic spray coating on the ceramic polish and wax that I used beforehand or on the new mark II max shine polisher that I've been using here and the uh, 3d car care foam finishing pad I will hook up all of that stuff in the YouTube description box below, so use those links if you're interested. And guys, as always, if you love everything auto detailing like I do, then definitely consider subscribing to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. And from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.